there's something moving across the ocean mm. that can create colorful sunsets. But also it impacts what could develop in the tropics. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunzing explains all about it. During hurricane season, we track developing tropical systems, obviously, but sometimes we have to monitor dust as well. So right now we're watching a few plumes of Saharan dust working their way across the ocean. We sometimes call it the Saharan air layer, but Saharan dust or the Saharan air layer is exactly what it sounds like. It's dust coming off of the Saharan desert, moving west across the ocean. But why do we care about it? So Saharan dust creates a dry layer in the atmosphere. So if we end up having a developing tropical system, as it tries to get higher and develop higher in the sky, it can hit that dry, dusty layer, and that can further limit development. This dusty layer can also create very vibrant colored sunsets, but also reduce air quality and cause problems for those that may have respiratory issues if that dust moves over land. So dust in this area right now might not actually be a bad thing. So let's check in with some areas where we are most likely to see tropical development during the month of July. July is an often a month where the tropics are super active, but we can see some development in the Gulf of Mexico, the Northern Caribbean with movement into the Gulf of Mexico, as well as some development is possible near the Bahamas, moving up the Southeast coast. We watch this area very closely and occasionally we get some development east of the Caribbean with movement toward the Lesser Antilles. Remember, we are only right here when it comes to the grand scheme of hurricane season. And while things are starting to get active, unfortunately, we have a very long way to go. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing.